Here's another rapid fire list of things I learned in cooking school that I apply to my everyday home cooking. Number one, the only knife you really need is one good quality chef's knife. A quality German or Japanese chef's knife will do more for you than a mediocre knife block. Number two, learning how to hold your knife properly will make your prepping process much more efficient. Your middle ring and pinky finger hold the base of the knife. Your thumb is right next to the bolster and your index finger should wrap around as such. To avoid injury, use the claw technique with your other hand, making sure your index finger guides your knife. This way, if you literally closed your eyes, you wouldn't cut yourself because you knew exactly where your knife was. Number three, if you're crying while cutting onions, your knife definitely needs to be sharpened. A sharp knife causes less damage to the flesh of the onion, which in turn reduces the amount of gas that's let out that makes you cry. Number four, to sharpen your knife, you need a whetstone. Think of a whetstone as giving your knife a haircut. It literally removes the steel. A honing rod is not a sharpener. Instead, think of a honing rod as a comb for your knife's hair. Every time you use your knife, the blade gets a little misaligned. So when you come up with your honing rod, you're straightening the blade's edges. And finally, number five, taste and flavor are not the same. Taste is perceived by the tongue, and the only tastes are sour, salty, bitter, sweet, and umami. This means if you plug your nose and tried anything, you'll only pick up on those five things. That's because flavor is perceived by your olfactory nerve, which is connected to your mouth and nose. So when you're picking up on flavor, you're really mouth smelling. The thing is, you need salt to bring out flavor. Otherwise, your food will literally taste like nothing.